So let's look at what's happening in the world. The recent increase in the phenomenon of vaccine hesitancy, a reluctance or refusal to be vaccinated or have one's children vaccinated. This year, 2021, Green and his colleagues surveyed 100,000 people using an internet panel and recruited a total of 957 adults to assess ethnic and social demographic factors in Israel associated with attitudes towards COVID-19 vaccines prior to their introduction. The result shows that higher education was associated with less vaccine hesitance. Other factors associated with vaccine hesitancy were the belief that the government restrictions were too lenient and the frequency of socializing prior to the pandemic. A relatively higher percentage of the participants reported reluctance to get vaccinated prior to the introduction of the vaccine. So some of the recommendations include assisting decision makers in identifying subgroups who are more res resistant to vaccination and producing more targeted information campaigns and the recommended strategies will require more community engagement to develop targeted messages to the suspected vaccine hesitant groups. In Scotland, according to Williams and his colleagues, the percentage of people desiring to be vaccinated were higher among people of white ethnicity compared with Black, Asian, and minority ethnic groups. Clearly, the vaccine acceptance disparity exists globally, and sadly, it exists among our ethnic minority populations. The graph shows the vaccine confidence from a global perspective as a result of the survey in November 2020 and January 2021 the trend of people who are willing to be vaccinated against COVID-19. And notice the darker area of the bar graph indicating the acceptance of taking vaccine if offered this week. The stretch of the darker color to the right represents an increase in vaccine confidence within the three month period. The bottom bar should reflect the opposite as it reflects the worries about the side effects of COVID-19 vaccines. For the strongly agree to take the vaccine increases from approximately 25 to 30% in November 2020 to solid 40% strongly agree in January 2021. On the other hand, the worries about the side effects of the vaccines decreased from approximately 30% to 25% from November 2020 to January 2021. We can confidently say that the information provided at the vaccine clinics play an important role in increasing awareness about the risk and benefits of the vaccine. Hopefully, more people are willing to be vaccinated as we continue to send a consistent message to the public. Now, from the global survey to national level surveys, these graphs break down the vaccine acceptance by race, ethnicity, with 1,000 sample size. We clearly see an increase in vaccine acceptance among the Black, Latina, Latino, and the white population. Sadly, the vaccine acceptance among the Asian population has significantly decreased from 83% vaccine acceptance in September 2020 to 72% in January 2021. Continued surveillance of vaccine acceptance and the breakdown by specific populations may assist healthcare providers to identify target population for immediate and appropriate interventions. Why is there a decrease in vaccine acceptance among the Asians? And how can we increase their acceptance of the vaccination? Researchers pointed out the importance of identifying the population who are likely to have poor vaccine confidence and focus on providing them vital information about the benefit and risk of the vaccine and how can we help them protect themselves from the COVID-19 infections. Earlier, we discussed about social determinants of health and vulnerability. Now let looks at the social determinants of vaccine acceptance. What, we could be, what could be the significant barriers we are facing in increasing awareness and boosting the vaccine confidence of minoritized population? Questions to ask, how do they get an appointment? Where and when? And also not all local pharmacies that are in smaller communities can provide the vaccine. 
and giving examples of how to sign up in a few states with better systems, including data collection of ethnic race, uh, to identify potential target population for further education and awareness about the benefits of COVID-19 vaccine.